Water is everything in California, and it's important that we protect what we have now and use it in a sustainable way. An expensive upgrade to a water treatment plant in Elk Grove aims to do both of those things. ABC 10 meteorologist Brendan Mincha has the story. This is a perfect example of how we can build a climate resilient future for all Californians. This month, an aging piece of water infrastructure in Elk Grove was given new life. Echo Water was a project that's now become this entire plant. Uh, we've essentially upgraded the plant, so it is, it is uh, generating a higher quality water. And that higher quality water not only protects the Delta ecosystem, but it's also enabled us to um, sort of springboard to another project that we call Harvest Water. Many farms in the valley rely on groundwater to irrigate their crops. But by utilizing highly treated wastewater, essentially recovered water, groundwater pumping can be reduced or stopped altogether on ag lands serviced by what's known as harvest water. And there was a time when you can have a lot of single-use facilities. You know, you'd have flood facilities to fight for flood times. You'd create storage for, for drinking water or ag water purposes. You have a, a wastewater treatment plant, and that's just treating you know, waste. Now we're, we're really connecting the drops across our watersheds. But it's important to note that this project was not cheap. It came with a hefty price tag of about $1.7 billion. And when you factor in the costs of the Harvest Water Project as well, you get a checkout total of over $2 billion. Funding came from a 2014 state water bond vote known as Prop 1, which authorized $7.5 billion for water quality, supply, and infrastructure improvements. Of that, Echo Water got $290 million, as well as a $1.4 billion low interest loan from the State Water Board. The reality is uh, we're in a moment we're going to have to invest a lot into our systems, our water systems particularly because of climate change, the pressures that it's putting onto our systems. This is really going to help our economy thrive. It's going to help deliver water to the agricultural sector and stimulate agricultural production, help build our climate resilience for droughts that we know are coming, while really leveraging some of the wet weather that we have and treating wastewater that would otherwise harm the ecosystem.